Okay, these are roller bridges. Uh, there's one here. Uh, here's a roller bridge here. There are there are there are kind of two types, uh, possibly three. Um, but anyway, the third one looks like that. So, so there are a couple of different types you've probably seen. Let's get this in the camera. There's this one, and there's this one. They are um, relatively cheap uh, to put on your guitar. There are many. Um, this is the original one that I got out of a guitar. That I'm going to show you. This is the original one, and this is the reason why I'm doing this video. Is because I don't know if you can see here or not. Maybe I should turn it that way. I don't know. Oh, maybe yeah, that way it's kind of easier to see. You see those? No, it's not. It's that way. <laughs> what am I talking about? Anyway, if you look at those grooves, those slits in the saddles, they are deep. And I found that um, in in this particular guitar, which is you know a cheapish guitar, a good guitar, but like a bit cheap. Some of the hardware is kind of a little bit rubbish. The strings are starting to cut their way <laughs> through the saddles. Um, I dare say they'll probably do the same thing with the um, uh, with the frets on this guitar. But however, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, so the point is today is to replace this. We need to replace this, and the reason why I'm replacing it is obviously because of these extra wear marks. Also, the edges of the um, of the saddles were like so sharp, I had to file them down because I was like cutting my hand. Um, so I did that, and um, what else? There, so yeah, so we so we need to change this, and I thought, hey, let's change it for like a roller saddle like this, okay? Um, which is great. They look great, uh, and they probably save your strings from snapping. I don't know. Um, this is not what this is about. It's not about you know snap. I suppose if you've got a Bigsby or something, it's great. You put one of these on instead of a, a of a standard like tunematic bridge. Because you've got the rollers on. Um, anything that, that aids your string passing through slots of any kind has got to be a plus point. Anyway, um, this one caught my eye. Going come back to this one, caught my eye. There's two. I, I bought two of these in the end. But um, some places on the internet, they're ex they seem to be not expensive, but seem to be, you know, a vast. I think the most expensive one I found was like thirty-two pounds. The most inexpensive one I found is six pounds. Yeah, six English UK pounds. Yeah, for one of these. So I bought two of these for six pounds. And I'm thinking, well, perhaps I should have bought a six pound one and a 30 pound one so I could compare the two. But I looked at the images online. I looked at every aspect and the, like the, the measurements and, sh and stuff like that where I could see any measurements and, and the close up pictures. They look the same to me. Basically what happens is I think they make these in China or somewhere like that. And basically, people buy them from like you know AliExpress or or Banggood or whatever those big you know um, uh, like supermarket kind of online shopping places, which I'll show you uh, in this video. You get them from. Uh, all, the only difference is, is you, you know you pay like six quid for this. You just have to wait for a week for it to come uh, get shipped over from China or wherever it is, or some European factory, perhaps. I don't know. But basically, that's it. They were the same, six quid instead of 30 quid or 16 pounds or even 12 pounds. Some people package them up with a stop bar and some other stuff. So that's that. The right, thing you need to watch out for is this, is that some of them come with one of these. Well, they all come with one of these, like, you know, the, the, the posts. Well, this post, I don't know a guitar, what this post will fit. Maybe there is one out there but you have to watch out for that. Some come with like the smaller fittings, which, I mean, that isn't even like, you know, that isn't even gonna go on a Gibson. I, I know what you're thinking, like Gibson might fit, it won't. This is completely unstandard. Whereas um, run I did buy come with pretty much a standard, I would say, when I mean standard, I mean pff, Epiphone fitting. You know, at that, an Epiphone, Chinese, Japanese, Korean fitting, not American. Uh, this won't fit. You'd have to buy if if you've got a Gibson US, a USA Gibson, a real USA Gibson. Uh, you probably wouldn't be able to do these with these um, products that uh, I'm showing, you, except for this one. You could buy the whole package, use this one, and just use this. 
if you had one of the Gibsons uh, where the posts actually um, screw into the body directly. Anyway, I don't know because I haven't I haven't got a Gibson which has got that fitting. I've only got a Gibson which has got kind of that kind of fitting, which screws directly into the uh, body. So that's that. Anyway, so fitted um, so fitted it onto this guitar. This is uh, a good guitar to, 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 to deal with because it's a relatively cheap guitar. Bought off eBay, 200 quid. Seen it in videos before. It's kind of like a test piece. Yeah, I play this guitar all the time. I love it. Uh, I got really expensive guitars and I'm not playing them. I'm playing this. Um, you know, things are where it, as I'm playing it, I'm, I'm seeing, you know, bits and pieces that that I need to fix. You know, some things are dear, you know, there's some mods on here that I've done, which, you know, I'll show you another time. But here's the bridge. Uh, this is the one, I, the one I put on. This is the one I purchased. It had the wrong posts that came with it, but that doesn't matter. I used the posts from the other one I purchased. Um, it's got the rollers on it are different from the one I just showed you. The rollers on this are brass. Uh, I don't know what the rollers on this one are. I don't know what the rollers on this one is, but hey. Anyway, so put it on this guitar. It solved the problem with the E and the B string that I had where it was a little bit dead. Um, I noticed it was getting a bit dead. Uh, changed this, solved that problem. Uh, overall, the guitar isn't any brighter or the tone hasn't changed at all. It's just solved that dead issue with them strings. It's quite lively. It was lively before. Everything's working as it was. It doesn't sound any different. It's just as easy to play as it was before. However, I would, I would point out that palm mute is a lot, <laughs> is a lot, uh, uh, a lot safer and a lot more comfortable now we've put that on. So I'm quite pleased. So a six pound modification, uh, a little bit of messing about with the um, intonation. Uh, took a little bit longer than I thought it would do because uh, you have to fiddle around with them a little bit. Don't tighten the screws up too much because you'll thread them. But uh, basically, six quid, it's a great mod, fantastic mod. And also, the other thing, the plus point, is because you've got these little grub screws on the posts, um, basically it holds it down. So it's a kind of put the bridge in, set it all up, and forget about it. Set and forget bridge, that's what you want. Brilliant. Anyway, so I'll show you uh, where to buy it from. I'll show you where the body's from. Look at the screen now. Hey, okay, here we are in Webland. Um, okay, so what we're looking for, um, this is where I found, this is where I purchased the, um, the uh, roller bridge. Um, I think I just took roller bridge Gibson or something like that. I can't remember what I put in. So, let's have a look. So, I, I want to tell you right now um, about this video. Is that if you've got a Gibson, an uh, American, a US made, an American made, a US Gibson, Les Paul or, or any model, okay, chance, the chances are this stuff isn't going to fit. Um, if you have an ABR type fitting, uh, I'll explain it, like kind of this, this kind of thing here, um, you might be able to get one of these roller bridges to fit. In, pro in fact, you probably are. I'm going to try that um, when I get my Les Paul out and probably put it in a video uh, and, it, and make an addition to this video. But for all intents and purposes this video, this is not for USA, Les Paul or any Gibson kind of American model with uh, um, Tunematic Bridge, okay, because I can't, I can, well, it might work, but I can't verify that it will, okay, so um, don't uh, send me comments saying, I, put it, I bought this and it didn't fit, um, I'm telling you now, it probably won't fit, this is for like Korean, Japanese, Chinese, whatever guitars, okay, um, and, and some, sometimes you'll find that um, you got to check um, the distance between uh, the two saddles, the outside of the two saddles, because for the distance from here to here, the, the problem is when you're buying products like this from China, they don't want to, they don't give you the dimensions. <laughs> they don't think it's important for some reason when it bloody well is. But hey, this is why I'm doing this video. I'm going to tell you what works for a specific scenario. I tell you this right now, okay? This one here, which I got here, the one with the um, uh, the the roller, the rollers which look like they're brass. That you know that fit that in terms of distance between here and here f fits my guitar perfectly. Lovely, brilliant. Um, this one here. 
um, the distance to point between here and here is probably a millimetre or two so it may not make a heck of a lot of difference it may do it may not um, I don't know I can't vouch for that what I can tell you is this is that if you have um, like a um, a guitar made in Korea or Indonesia or China perhaps the chances are or, or, or an epiphone or something like that the chances are this one this is the one that's gonna fit not 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 the other one let's go back see this one is gonna fit because because it's got these this this one isn't gonna fit because of only because of these posts it's not gonna fit into your post holes that you've already got now I was kinda lucky because I bought this one and I bought this one because I wanted this bridge with these posts so a bit long-winded but as far as I can tell I've got this I've got this bridge as well and this bridge is as good as that bridge there's no difference between this bridge and that bridge it's as good they're, they're both good so if you're gonna buy one for an Epiphone or a Korean guitar or an Indonesian guitar or something like that this is the one you want and look it's five pounds and 68p and I don't think they charge you um, any there's no delivery charge either which is pretty good okay so and you can get it from banggood.com www.banggood.com I'll put a link in the bottom of the video also for the other roller bridge um, which they don't do here you can get uh, a roller bridge from uh, Ax our good old friends axtech.co.uk I'm sure there's other places you can get it I think uh, Axes are us you can get um, some bridges there as well um, let's have a quick look um, here we go tunematics I got a feeling that uh, something like um, there we go roller bridges have a look here's a roller bridge I got this roller bridge um, this is exactly the same roller bridge as I got I'm telling you it's exactly the same it is exactly the same I mean they might say it's not but um, it is exactly the same as a roller bridge I got and I paid six pounds for it they want 24.50 for it I'm not saying Axis R Us are nasty people or anything but the good thing about dealing with someone like Axis R Us is if you bought the roller bridge and it turned out you bought the wrong one the chances are you could send it back and replace it with something else so you know there's always um, pluses and minuses with these things probably same thing with Axtech as well I mean I just kinda of bought it from here because I just wanted to I just wanted to see uh, if it'll work you know if if these were as good as what I thought they might be they are the same they are the same anyway so um I know for a fact that that maybe Axis R Us might do some stuff for Gibson USA people maybe you should call them and find out but I think these here I can tell you right now that if you've got a Gibson Les Paul or something like that um, with this kind of setup um, don't do it that's my advice to you don't do it because these threads are different than the threads that go into the the, the wood because these go directly into the, the 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 wood of your guitar you know the timber of your guitar so I wouldn't do it I'd I'd probably go and get an original one sorry X Tech about that but that's what I think anyway so uh, let's go to roller bridges here that's the other roller bridge that I bought um, they're all the same I think X Tech was 16.50 I'm sure you could probably get them cheaper somewhere else, but I haven't found them cheaper anywhere else. I've bought um, these bridges off Axtec before. I've got one on another guitar somewhere, and they're great. They're great. They're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. And these kind of will fit. The other great thing about Axtec is they'll give you all the dimensions of everything, so you can't go. You just can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong with these. So you know, make your own mind up. Um, that's what I found out. Um, you can do do you can do it your own way you don't have to buy what I buy I just got you know I was very intrigued about it I come out smelling of roses doing it this way um, you might not want to take that risk you might want to just phone these guys up and pay a little bit more money and get it right first time round whatever roller bridges great modification to, to your guitar um, really cheap modification um, does it sound different no probably not uh, if you've got a tight old bridge it's a, a a breath of fresh air probably um, 
like for me, it helped me out with a, an issue with a couple of strings. They're great, they work, they're cheap, they're a modification. Uh, you might want to spend more money on a more expensive guitar, but if you've got a guitar you're just fiddling around with, or you know you just love it because you love playing it, even though it's a cheapy thing and whatever, it's great. But anyway, uh, put some comments in the bottom, uh, like me, do thumbs up things, whatever. Um, I'll be here tomorrow. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>